I have with me Dr. Neil Navani. Uh, Dr. Navani, how can we follow up uh, lung cancer patients after a surgery? So this is a really important issue. After patients have had their surgery for lung cancer, how often do we see them and when do we do scans? So uh, the European Society of Medical Oncology uh, has guidelines on this, so it would recommend a CT scan every six months for three years. Now, the data to support that um, doesn't, isn't really very strong, and um, there has now been a major French randomised trial that is really helping to inform this area a little bit more. So, in, in that study, they randomised 1,700 patients to either having uh, regular CT scans every six months or conventional follow-up, which was just chest X-rays. And actually in this study they found, they, uh, uh, they found more recurrences and they found more second lung cancers. But overall they didn't find any survival benefit from following up patients with CT. So currently I think we have to follow the guidance and see patients and the, the ESMO guidelines suggest every six months. But I think it's an area where we need um, a lot more evidence and I think is potentially an exciting area for research uh, mm -hmm. uh, going forward. And do you think uh, the current te technology actually helps you or you need some improvements? So I think that's a really good point. The um, technology we currently have using CT may not be sensitive enough, may not pick up enough cancers early enough for us to be able to treat them. So there's a lot of interest in newer technologies, particularly circulating tumour cells, particularly looking at blood for circulating tumour DNA, for example. Our, our oncology colleagues currently use circulating tumour DNA to monitor uh, response to treatments. So potentially we could look at circulating tumour DNA or other potential biomarkers uh, to predict when a patient's recurrence may develop or their risk of developing recurrence. Um, but I think we need to, uh, I think, wait for more information from the French study when it's published, and, and then I agree. I think we need to apply modern biomarker-based uh, follow-up to future trials to see if we can improve recurrence detection and also detection of second lung cancers. Thank you very much. Thank you.